Hello YouTube, my name is Zyvo. I'm I'm here to uh, make a guide on how to play a Minecraft server called HeroCraft. Now, they, the admin actually are still working on this um, tutorial area. However, there is quite a bit that they kind of left off. And to be frank, a lot of new members skip it. They just run straight through it, don't read a single thing, and then they go on the chat and they ask every single question that is answered in the tutorials. Now, they did have a tutorial before this one. It was in the sky. It was a lot smaller and didn't and was didn't ask answer a lot of the questions and left a lot of things missing. This one is a I just looked through it all. It is a lot better and answers quite a lot of the stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through here and explain a few of the things as we go. So, let's go. All right. Now this is the uh, admins um Kainzo obviously is the founder. I'm surprised um which on a rampage is it on here? I guess she might be a mod and not an admin. I could be wrong. I don't know, maybe they just ran out of room. Anyway, those are your admins. Kainzo is online from time to time, as you might be able to see on here, maybe. No, it doesn't look like he's online right now. Um, but he's usually AFK, so if you want to talk to him, make sure... If you want to talk to him, don't PM him. It, he'll probably reply, but like an hour later. Um... You can see he's online because he starts posting stuff often. So, but he's like I said, he's AFK all the time. He's usually only online for like five minutes. So, um, <coughs> Hero Craft, yes, always do slash kit star. You can use it like once a day, and these are all the I just used it. These are all the items you actually get. You get some string, some coal, some food. Um, some weapons, and yes, I know what you're thinking. Um, shovels, axes, and hoes are not weapons. In HeroCraft, they actually are. Each class actually has their own weapon, um, with a few classes only using the sword. And if your class does not use, like, a sword, you won't be able to actually use it as a weapon. Now, all classes can obviously use iron because they need to dig, but once you go up to diamond, it, it just automatically de-equips from the... Say I have it right here in my hand slot, it automatically jumps up to here because my class cannot wield it. You also get a pickaxe and some wood. Now, they actually changed this. This, the standard kit used to be stone tools. I'm kind of glad they changed it to iron tools because well oftentimes when you're digging you run out of iron so you need to kind of use the stone tools but with this now you can get free iron tools so that's kind of cool um, and you get this off the start when you first log in this is basically a big long 41 page thing on how to well anything on the server it is very very long I'm not going to go over it. I'm just going to keep clicking until we get to the end here. And there you go. You can pause at any of those and read if you want, if you lost your book or whatever. But yeah, that's basically the book. It goes over quite a bit. Um, there's another book that you can get that I actually don't think they said in here. Um, <coughs> I'll have to post that to the forums. So that they can get that posted here so you can find it. Anyway, combat classes and profession classes. You actually have two different classes, which is explained later on in the tutorial. Your combat class is, well, just that, your combat class. It allows you to equip a specific weapon and use your slash skills to open what you can actually use. Now, I am a lost soul and crafter because 
well, Lost Soul is base class and crafter is base crafter profession. Um, crafter, you can craft quite a lot of the stuff that you normally can. There is a few things, there are a few things that you cannot craft um, as crafter just because they are based on the profession classes, like bread. Unless you are a farmer, you cannot craft bread. It, it's a little get, you, uh, hard getting used to, but yes, this is, that's how it works. All right. As for classes, you actually have four different, um, let's call them genre classes. I'm not really sure what to call them. You have four different genre classes. You have a warrior, rogue, support, and a caster. But in the subclasses, you have, what is that? 20 different classes or something, 10, um, 18 different classes. You have Dragoon, Berserker, Samurai, Dread Knight, Paladin. Now I would be punching these things, but Witch on a Rampage told me not to. It could break my game, so I am not going to do it. Uh, they are still fixing this, like I said, so bear with me. Uh, Samurai can use sword. Dread Knight, I think, can use sword. Ninja, I believe, can use sword. Now, <coughs> sorry for my coughing. I'm a little sick. Um, now, sword is not automatically the strongest weapon in the game. What There is actually no strongest weapon. In fact, you normally play Minecraft, and this has six damage. This has five, three, and I think two. But in HeroCraft, each of these weapons have somewhere around 30. I believe they have like 32 damage for iron and like 35 damage for diamond. The strongest weapons in the game are actually gold. Yes, they do break very quickly, but they actually deal around 42 damage, I believe. Um, and you can get your class either by running in here and clicking on one of these. Like I said, I'm not going to do it. It's going to break my game. Or you can type they actually didn't put it in here. You can actually type in slash hero, choose, and then your class. Um, let me make sure that didn't stop my stream. No, it didn't. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing. Um, select your class before you leave the area. So go ahead and click one of these before you leave the area. Um, she's going to fix that or he, I'm not really sure which gender uh, which is. Um, you level up by killing things, yes. Level up by killing things, digging, farming, the normal Minecraft stuff. However, it works a lot differently as they have changed the leveling system. In about two weeks ago, it was where every level was the same. Now they fixed it to where you need about, I believe it's one million ex XP before you can actually get to the cap level. So, um, th there are many different ways to use your skills. You can stick them to your hot bar, like say, slash skills. Uh, say I'm going to stick bandage here. Now, every time I use bandage, I use it on myself, I heal myself. I use some mana, and this comes to another point. Mana is actually. Uh, mana is actually your food bar. It's also listed right here, but it takes over your food bar. If you saw, my mana went down to about right here and boosted right back up. That is because it's mana, and I'm not really sure how fast it grows. It's based on your stats, which you can't level until you get to the max T1 class, which is 60, I believe. Anyway, I use it again, and you can see my mana drops. Maybe. And I'm at full health, so it doesn't drop. Um, <coughs> blah, blah, blah. You can bind skills to a weapon or something. You can also download their mod pack from their server, or not server, um, website, and use that. I don't. Download the mod. I have not downloaded the mod pack. I don't know what it does, so that's up to you. It is not needed either. Um, check out your class. See what your weapons are. 
did you get the right class? If you did not get the right class, you can always type slash hero reset. And that will reset your class back to the default, which is Lost Soul and Crafter. Now, when you slash, um, slash hero tools, you find your best weapon. So slash hero tools, you will actually see that the weapons that I can equip here are axe, hoe, and sword. I can equip a cap of an iron, cap of an iron, and cap of an iron. I can also use my fist for 11 damage versus the normal Minecraft of 3. Um, but don't have blocks in your hands because like the raw fish it only deals 1 damage. I mean if you want to get in a slap fight with a friend with fish, uh, sure, go ahead. But it's not very good against um, enemies. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and equip the, let's see, axe and iron sword have the same rate. So I'm just going to go ahead and equip the axe here and show you that it does deal damage. Um, I heard it walking around. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe it's still buggy. Anyway, this little red spot, that's where they spawn from. They spawn directly on top of it, and if they see you, they will go attack you. Basically, basic monster stuff. Anyway, if you are a ranger or any class that uses ranged attacks, be warned, you can only attack monsters if they are... That, say that green thing was a monster. I'd have to be this close to him in order to even hit him. So yeah, you need to be within, I believe it's like 10, 15 blocks. Um, not sure how it works with PvP. I don't think it works like that with PvP. Anyway, after you take damage, you can eat food and heal. Now, um, I can jump off stuff here and show you that that actually does heal you. If I can find something high enough to jump off of. There we go. Alright, so I just take my food, and you notice the hunger does not go up. It does, but it only goes up for a slight time. It goes right back down. <coughs> anyway, continuing on. When you die, you will actually have a... Um, you'll actually go back to a graveyard, which people won't be able to attack you from a graveyard. I'm surprised they don't have a graveyard around here to show you what it looks like. But anyway, it is a thing that looks like this. It's a big tower thing, about probably 20 tall, 15 tall, lava running through it. Um, around there in the chunk it sits in, you cannot be hurt by other players. You can be hurt by mobs, not other players. You will spawn next to it, and on it, there will be a sign about right here. It'll have... Uh, buy, it will have a, it's basically a chest shop for buying redstone. Redstone, it costs 10c on the um, shop there, but basically allows you to warp back to home. Which is another thing they left out of here, to be honest. Um, after you set your home, you have to have, I believe it's one block of redstone to set a home, and then 10 uh, redstone dusts to warp back to that home. So, yeah. Um, redstone is very easy to find in this server. I have found tons of it. In fact, I had chests. I just had to convert it to blocks and store it that way. That's how much I can find. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, sorry for the cough again. Um, How long is this video? 14 minutes long. All right, I'm gonna hit 20 and then I'm gonna stop. I'm probably gonna get about halfway through here, but I'm gonna make a part two over there. Anyway, when you start playing, you're gonna want to know all these um, chat functions. There is channel help and channel T, channel tour. Channel tour is for noobs. 
definitely join channel tour um, to talk to other noobs, I guess. A lot of people don't really see channel tour as a help. They see channel help as a help. They just see channel tour as people trying to talk to each other when they don't know how to use the other functions. Channel O is general chat. I would give it about two or three days once you start learning the system and how it works and stuff. Um, then you can go on general chat. Don't ask questions on general chat. They'll just yell at you to go back to do help. Um, do not chat on trade chat. They will again tell you to go back to OChat. Channel recruitment again. They will tell you back to OChat. Channel recruitment is for stuff like this. Um, that's not what I wanted to post. Let me. Uh oh. I'm not sure if you can see this. This is basically my help guide on how to record this video. This is basically how you use the recruitment chat. And this is a, a chat for recruiting people for towns. So I'm going to go ahead and post that if I get any replies. Um, here, in fact, um, There, now people won't text me for right now. Um, so, Heaven's Gate has dungeons. Heaven's Gate is actually the dungeons um, subserver, I guess. I'm not really sure how servers work, to be honest. So, I'm going to just call it a subserver here. Heroes Gate is a subserver where you go and fight mobs. Now, you can fight mobs in the overworld, they are much rarer, but they don't give you as much XP. They don't give you souls, and they don't give you um, um, loot drops. So you definitely want to go to Heaven's Gate, which in part two I will show you where that is. Um, and go kill some mobs there. It's actually the easiest way to level as well. So, Also, if you are in a town or something and you need a bunch of money, <coughs> I would suggest going to Heroes Heaven's Gate. That way you can just go grind up a bunch of money. I do it from time to time, and I am a level 35 uh, ranger. So, yeah. It's, it actually has different dungeons all the way up to T9, I believe. That goes all the way up to level 60. I just sit around in the level 1 area, train a few noobs, and just grind out XP in uh, places that people normally don't go to. So, anyway... Partying! Yes, you probably looked at that enough. Let's go to something else. No. Uh, you make money this way, I guess. Um, fight mobs, make money, and kill harvest crops and mine. Um, not sure why they put a wall here, to be honest. Ooh, big sign. Um, there's also other ways to make money. You can vote. You can luffle up. I not sure whether or not they've actually disabled that. I have used the reset function just to play around with a few of the classes, which again resets your all your um, heroes and all your uh, profession classes back to zero, meaning you can't switch and go back to a level 60 mage. You actually have to reset back to one. So caution on using that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, for initial leveling up and earning coin, you earn coins. Um, it's somewhere between, I, be I believe, 8 and 14 coins. Uh, you can trade with other players. I would do it by chess shop or something. Global Market does have a 5% um, tax rate on things you sell. So unless you have money first, you cannot sell stuff on the Global Market. And to sell stuff on the global market, basically we type in slash market. It will give us, I can't type it in here because it doesn't work. T uh, type slash market, create, and then I believe it's the, um, the value and the number of items. 
All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off here and then continue on in part two. <coughs> so, yeah, you do it that way. These are souls. You can collect them from mobs, you can collect them from mining, you can collect them from farming. These three right here, I have not found a single one. I think they're higher level items, maybe from killing uh, players randomly, maybe from just going to the higher level dungeons. I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't found a single one of these. The highest I've ever found was this one right here. Um, you do get a lot of these. They are the smallest. They give you like one currency or you can actually exchange them for um, experience. Now, I've played around with this a bit. You can't actually aim at the floor and click. You actually have to right click, but you can't aim at the floor and click. You have to aim at a spot that won't register a block and click. Otherwise it doesn't work and just doesn't do anything. I'm not sure if that's a bug or what, but yeah, it just make sure you know that. Um, these sell for three, these for five, seven, I guess. No, wait, these sell for 15. So like, so I'm not really sure how the, um, how much they are. Even at the initial spawn, it doesn't really say. You kind of have to read them. Um, yes, but they will actually say how much they have on them. Um, anyway, that is it for this video. I will record number two immediately after, and hopefully they will both be online by today. All right. Well, have a nice day.